This film revolves around Lucy, a wife who has been married for two years but has not been blessed with a child yet. Despite their efforts every night, the hope of having a child has not been fulfilled. Seeing Lucy's desperation, her husband Adrian suggests that she consult with a specialist doctor for a pregnancy program. The next day, they visit the clinic and are warmly greeted by the head nurse, Dawn. Shortly after, the specialist doctor arrives. The doctor introduces himself as Dr. John, a senior who also knows Adrian. The examination conducted by Dr. John is quite brief, making Lucy doubt the doctor's expertise a little. However, Dr. John assures her that many women have become happy new mothers after consulting with him. Dr. John suggests that they come back on another day to undergo artificial insemination procedures that will increase Lucy's chances of getting pregnant. After returning from the clinic, Lucy continues her usual routine. At the office, Lucy feels very delighted because her boss assigns her as the team leader for a project they will be working on. A few days later, the day for the artificial insemination procedure arrives. Don comes and gives Adrian a container to collect the sticky fluid. Shortly after, Adrian Adrian finishes his task, and the sticky fluid is implanted into Lucy. A few weeks pass, and while Lucy is at work, she feels nauseous. Immediately, Lucy rushes with her husband to Dr. John's clinic. True enough, Dr. John informs them that Lucy is 100% pregnant. The news of the pregnancy was joyfully received by the couple. Lucy also shares this happy news with her boss at work. The kind boss informs the other employees and decides to have a nice meal together to celebrate Lucy's pregnancy. Shortly after, they return to Dr. John for an ultrasound. From the examination results, they find out that Lucy is likely to have twin boys. However, it's not just two twin babies, Dr. John also reveals the presence of one slightly smaller baby girl. Lucy looks surprised and anxious upon hearing this news, considering it is her first pregnancy. Dr. John suggests that Lucy only choose the healthier twin babies. Dr. John explains that if Lucy wants to keep all three babies, there are risks of complications that could lead to premature birth. The doctor advises them to go back and think about which baby they will fight for. However, Lucy has a different perspective. She feels that having two children would be very challenging, especially because she has to work. Lucy doesn't want to leave her position as the newly appointed team leader. She tends to choose the baby girl because Lucy has always wanted to have a daughter named Wendy. Finally, Adrian gives in to his wife and agrees to keep their baby girl. The day for embryo implantation arrives. Lucy is seen sitting and reading a magazine with Dr. John's picture on the cover in the waiting room. There's an interesting article that catches her attention, making her keep staring at the page. Eventually, Adrian comes and invites Lucy to go to Dr. John's room. During the process of embryo implantation, Lucy loses consciousness and hallucinates. Lucy hears a conversation between John and Adrian about hiding a secret from her. In her unconscious state, Lucy dreams that she already has a daughter and is picking her up. However, suddenly, the child's face turns black, and Lucy wakes up from her fainting spell. That night, this expectant young mother stared at her belly in the mirror. Suddenly, she is startled by the flow of red fluid wetting her feet. Quickly, they return to Dr. John's clinic. According to Dr. John, it's a normal occurrence because the uterus is expanding, and sometimes it happens. Dr. John assures them that there's nothing to worry about. However, strange incidents continue to happen to Lucy during her pregnancy. Lucy often hears strange sounds in her house. This time, Lucy tries to investigate the source of the sound by holding a knife in her hand. Lucy goes to the place where Adrian keeps the safe and is surprised by Adrian's arrival, looking for her. When Adrian tries to calm her down, Lucy sees another drop of blood flowing from the safe. However, Lucy doesn't tell her husband about it. The next day, Lucy meets an acquaintance from the pregnancy group she's been attending. This woman's name is Corgan. Since they are quite close, Lucy shares the strange things she has been experiencing and suspects that Dr. John has done something to her baby. Corgan suggests that Lucy talk to her husband about her suspicions. However, Lucy refuses because she believes that her husband and Dr. John have been keeping something from her. That night, Lucy watches a video about a birth witch named Grace. It turns out that Grace is the same person as the one on the magazine poster for Dr. John's. The words in the video seem to hypnotize Lucy, making her feel as if she's entering into it. The next day, the couple goes back to Dr. John's clinic for a routine checkup. Everything goes smoothly, and their baby is in good health. One day, Lucy's boss suddenly informs her that she's being removed from the project due to her pregnancy. Her boss might be concerned because of Lucy's growing belly. Frustrated with this decision, Lucy immediately goes to see Adrian, bringing him lunch. However, Adrian looks surprised because a few hours ago, Lucy already went to his place and brought the same lunch. Due to Lucy's minor disturbances, Adrian takes her back to Dr. John's clinic. Dr. John explains that Lucy is experiencing mumnesia, which usually happens in first pregnancies. Dr. John prescribes something to calm Lucy's mind. However, Lucy still doubts Dr. John's advice. Without Adrian's knowledge, 
Lucy goes to see Grace, a birth witch, hoping to find some advice to calm herself. Unfortunately, Lucy's condition doesn't fully improve. Lucy starts having nightmares when she sees Adrian and Dr. John meeting in her apartment. Awakening from her sleep, Lucy immediately goes to Adrian's desk and tries to open his personal safe. Inside, Lucy finds a file detailing the initial stages of her pregnancy. It seems Adrian has planned something regarding her. There are also photos of Lucy visiting Grace's place. This further convinces her that Adrian has been watching her all this time. The next day, Lucy shows the file to Corgan. The file details her pregnancy process as if Lucy were an experimental patient in Adrian and Dr. John's study. Corgan suggests taking the file to her husband, who is a lawyer, and asks Lucy to act normally so that Adrian and Dr. John won't suspect anything. That night, while soaking in the bathtub, Lucy feels as if she's hallucinating, drowning in water filled with blood. The next morning, Lucy feels a bit happier and even tells Adrian that she will quit her job. Lucy also expresses her desire to stop seeing Dr. John because she feels that he has a negative influence on their unborn baby. Adrian gets angry upon hearing this because they have been there multiple times and Dr. John is an expert in that field. Additionally, it was thanks to Dr. John that Lucy was able to get pregnant. However, Lucy remains firm in her decision and asks Adrian not to go back to Dr. John. One day, they have a baby shower at their home. There, Corgan gives Lucy a gift in the form of a fairy tale book that was usually read by Lucy's late mother. Lucy falls silent for a moment as she looks at the book cover, which appears to be bloodstained. However, Lucy is startled when Corgan knows the name Lucia, which only a select few know. Eventually, Corgan admits to Lucy that she learned the name from Dr. John. It turns out that Lucy's file wasn't given to her husband but to Adrian and Dr. John. Corgan becomes worried because Lucy seems strange, and Adrian informs her that there was never a file in his safe. Lucy is shocked and starts experiencing birth contractions. Adrian immediately takes her to the birth witch, Grace. Lucy gives birth to a baby boy, but during the process, she experiences severe bleeding during the second contraction. Adrian takes Lucy to Dr. John's clinic. There, Lucy gives birth to another baby boy. It turns out to be the twin they planned to sacrifice for the baby girl that Lucy desperately wished for. The long-awaited baby girl was also born. However, the baby girl is born premature and is attached to the placenta during the delivery of the second baby. Adrian and Dr. John seem pleased when the twin baby boys are born, indicating a larger and darker plan involving these babies. Shortly after, they returned home from the clinic. When Lucy sees her twin babies, she feels a bit unsettled. Lucy keeps thinking about baby Wendy, who was born premature. A few days later, Lucy wants to find out why Dr. John made a mistake during the removal process of her fetus. Lucy goes back to the clinic to meet Dr. John, but Don stops her because Lucy doesn't have an appointment. Lucy is determined to cause a scene at the clinic, but then Don takes her to a room and informs her that Adrian and Dr. John have been collaborating on Lucy's pregnancy project. The twin babies are the result of Adrian's agreement. Feeling unsatisfied with the answers, Lucy goes to Dr. John's office. There, she discovers her baby girl wrapped in plastic. Dr. John arrives and starts rambling until he finally admits that every patient who comes there has been injected with his semen. John has an obsession with creating male babies that carry his genes and spreading them to women around the world. When John tries to inject a sedative, Lucy, who has been disgusted by John's absurd obsession that caused her to lose her baby girl, kicks Dr. John and destroys the storage of his semen. The commotion is heard by Don, and they engage in a fierce argument. Finally, Don collapses, and Lucy strikes John with a mirror, splattering blood all over his face. After completing her mission, Lucy returns home covered in blood. Lucy hallucinates, as if releasing the twin babies to fly into the sky, as if wanting to distance them from her life. The obsession with her baby girl, named Wendy, seems so strong. Adrian arrives and is shocked to see his wife in a terrifying state. Lucy hands him the twin babies and asks him to leave her alone forever. 